Hello again and welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Dave here for Wondershare Recoverit. In today's episode, I'll help you fix the issues where Windows 10 won't shut down. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss any new updates. And also consider liking our video and sharing it with your friends so that they can benefit from it too. Before I can help you fix the issue, first let's understand the reasons why Windows 10 won't shut down. There can be various reasons for this issue to arise, such as fast startup, incompatible Windows updates, corrupted system files, or BIOS settings. Whatever the reason may be, I'll show you eight simple solutions that you can use to solve this problem in no time at all. One way you can fix this issue is by cutting off the power source. Now, before you dive headfirst into trying this, I would like to say that this is not the most preferred way as several other problems are associated with it. When you forcefully unplug a system, it can harm your power supply or worse still, ruin components in your computer such as the motherboard. But if this method is absolutely necessary, then the following steps are the best approach to take. First, press and hold the power button of your PC for around 5 to 10 seconds. Hold it down until the computer completely shuts off. Next, you're required to remove the entire system from power for approximately 5 to 10 minutes. You'll need to remove the battery if you're on a laptop or unplug the power cord if you're using a PC. After this, reconnect the power supply, start your computer back up and then attempt to shut down in the normal manner. If your computer does shut down, then you're good to go. If your computer still won't shut down as normal, then we'll move on to solution two disabling fast startup. There is a fast startup option in Windows 10 which allows your PC to start around 30 times faster than a normal boot. It's basically a combination of a sleep mode and logout function. On some occasions, the option of fast startup may interfere with the process of the shutdown. For that reason, you may need to disable this option. So here is how you can do that. First, open the control panel of your computer, search for the power options and then click it. Next, on the left panel, click the option choose what power buttons do. Then select the option change settings that are currently unavailable. Then next to the turn fast startup option, you will notice there are several checkboxes. You will need to uncheck all of them and then save changes. Close the window after you've done so. If your fast startup was enabled, your issue might now get solved after you disable it. However, if it still doesn't work, you can try to perform a full shutdown. Performing a full shutdown by using the shift key is relatively easy and simple. There are two main steps that you need to follow. Firstly, you need to open the start menu and select the power button. Then, while you click the shutdown option, you also need to press and hold the shift key on your keyboard. Once you do it, you need to release the shift key and it will perform a full shutdown. This straightforward solution will most probably fix your issue. But in case it doesn't, you can try solution 4, using command prompt to shut down Windows. Most people don't know this, but you can actually shut down your Windows simply by using a command prompt. Go to the search bar in the bottom left corner and type CMD and press enter. Then enter the command shut down forward slash S forward slash F forward slash T zero and press enter. In case you want the system to restart after you've shut down, then you'll need to execute the command shut down forward slash R forward slash F forward slash T zero. Typing commands again and again though can be a daunting task. Therefore, the best approach would be to create and save a batch file. Creating a batch file will allow you to shut down your computer with one simple click. To do this, first you will need to type notepad into the Cortana search bar and open it. Then type the same command again, shut down forward slash s forward slash f forward slash t zero in the notepad as you did before. Then save the notepad file. For that, you'll need to click the file menu at the very top. Click save and it will be saved onto your system. Make sure to save it onto the desktop in order to access it easily. Now, it would be best if you save this as a bat file. So enter the name of the file and then write dot bat. So for example, shutdown dot bat. 
Once you see the option save as type, you need to select all files and click save. As you'll be able to see through the file, make sure you right click and click run as administrator in order to shut down the system. Now, if you want, you can select the file to automatically run as administrator every time. This will make it much easier by basically just removing one step that you've always got to do. For this, right click on the file and click send to desktop, then go to the properties of your file by right clicking on your created shortcut. Once you've accessed the properties, go to the shortcut tab and click on the option advanced. In front of the option run as administrator, there will be a box. You need to check this and click the OK button below. Whenever now you want to shut down your computer, all you need to do is click that file and you're good to go. You can solve the issue of Windows 10 not shutting down by starting your Windows from safe mode. Follow these steps to boot your computer in safe mode. Select the start button and then click the power icon. Click on the restart button whilst holding the shift key. Once you see a menu, select troubleshoot, then advanced options, startup settings. Click on the restart button, then your computer will reboot and then show you a menu. There you may see various options ranging from one to nine. You need to select four and five to enable safe mode. Also, if you want to disable automatic restart, you need to select option nine. This method should help you solve the issue. However, in case you can't fix the shutdown issue, you could also try using a troubleshooter. Using the Windows Troubleshooter can be a great way of solving this issue as well. Open the settings of your system and click the option Update and Security. On the left sidebar, you will see different options. Select the Troubleshoot and then click on the power option that you may see on the right side panel. After doing so, click on Run the Troubleshooter. This will identify and fix all issues in your Windows system. After it's fixed these issues, you may expect your computer to shut down normally. This can help fix the shutdown issue, but if not, you can try running a Windows system file checker instead. First, you need to click on the search bar in the bottom left corner and type CMD to access the command prompt. As the command prompt will appear, right click and select run as administrator. Inside the command prompt window, you will need to write the command SFC forward slash scan now. Finally, the system file checker will start running and when it's finished, you will see a completed message. Whenever you force shut down your PC, there is the possibility of you losing data. However, you don't need to worry as I'm gonna give you a bonus tip on how to recover lost data from your computer using Wondershare Recoverit, which is a data recovery software tool that can help recover important information. First, you'll need to install and run recover it on your computer. Then you need to select the drive with which you want to recover files from. Once you're done selecting the drive, click start and it will begin scanning for any deleted items. While the scanning process is going on, you can add filters, pause, or even stop the scan at any point. And in case you believe the normal scan hasn't served the purpose, you can then try the advanced recovery option, which will carry out a more in-depth search. Once the scan completes, you will be able to see the files found or even preview each file by clicking on it. Once you confirm the files you'd like to retrieve, you can save them by clicking on the recover button. Now, when choosing a location path to save files, you need to ensure you choose a different path rather than the same path from where your data was lost. That's all for today. I hope you've gained some valuable information from this video. Make sure you try each solution until your problem gets fixed. If you liked today's episode, then please hit the like and subscribe button and make sure you share it with your friends. And you can also let us know in the comment section what more you'd like to see from this channel. And we'll see you in the next video.